Hey everybody, welcome to my next gym video. I hope you're enjoying them. I had a previous video regarding the Rogue plate, Vertical Plate Tree 2.0. This video is just to show a few updates. As you can see here, I purchased the wheels that go with the plate tree. Um, I, all you're gonna do really is just take all of your weights off and then basically tip the tree over. And then uh, the wheels are pretty simple to install. Um, as you can see in the video, you just unscrew a bolt, put them in through the bottom and then put the bolt on, make sure they're nice and tight and you're pretty much good to go. Once you have the wheels on, it's pretty easy to roll them around. Um, when it gets really heavy and on carpet, it's a little bit slower. So it would work better on a slicker surface, obviously, but my goal as you're about to see here is that I'm trying to do some other things. And in the next segment, we'll see how the wheels come into play for adding a little, a few more plate uh, branches basically onto the tree. After putting the wheels on, I ordered a set of, a, it's basically a four pack of weight plate holders that fits the X3 and T3 series racks from Titan. Um, the reason I picked Titan is they're a lot less expensive than Rogue and they have free shipping. I would have preferred that they're a little bit shorter, but I was able to take the hardware that comes with it. Um, and basically, like if you had an X3 rack, I don't I have a T3. They have uh, the bolts that go into a three inch frame and I can take that, as you can see here, and just thread it to through the holes that are at the top of the Rogue stand and then going all the way through to another plate holder on the other side of the tree and then putting the, the washer and the nut on the other side. And then <clears throat> what you'll see towards the end is that I use these for five pound and two and a half, and two and a half pound plates. Um, I then had a little trick with the other two that are remaining and you'll see that in the video to put those on the bottom and put my smaller change plates. And since I put the wheels on earlier, I'm able to quickly or uh, to easily do that. So. That's kind of my hack mixing Titan with Rogue, but hey, it works and that's all that really matters. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them below and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching, bye.